Well, the availability of affordable places to rent uh, has seemed to diminish. It's our experience at the refuge that young people are finding it harder and harder to find decent places to live at a cost that they can afford. Uh, current vacancy rates, according to the region of Durham, uh, a couple months ago in Oshawa, were less than 3% of available or of uh, rental stock. So less than 3% availability. Um, some of our youth have found... I'll tell you a story. Some of our youth have found a place to live in in a house, um, so the homeowner paid rent, and, and what ends up happening is because there's so much competition for rooms, the landlord knows that they can uh, they can make certain choices, and what ended up happening to this young man is when he was found out that he was on Ontario Works, the homeowner said, number one, I don't rent to people on Ontario Works, which is a violation of the Human Rights Code, by the way. Um, secondly, he gave him two days to leave the house. Uh, he didn't, and he was physically dragged out of the place. His possessions put on the side of the road, and he was out of pocket with no place to live, but more importantly, no hope. Now, the question is about available rent for our young people here at the Refuge, and for people who are struggling all across the city of Oshawa. But I think the best question comes from one of our youth. I'm going to put it up on screen here. Your plans are for the future mayor of Oshawa to help accommodate people like me who are struggling to find housing. There's your question, candidates. Anyone want to tackle it? Rosemary. You know, I recently <coughs> had an email similar to this, uh, probably not from someone quite as young, but the, the serious problem is the lack of affordable housing. This is an issue that is actually in the hands of the region. Um, I have not noticed my uh, competitors here mention much about the region of Durham. It's in my uh, campaign platform that finances at the region have to be um, investigated and social services uh, should be uh, the department that people go to and I believe that the opportunities there for youth to get together and actually make delegations to the region because this is where this problem has to be addressed. We have to find the root causes of why there are these weights, why there are not the units. And in the city of Oshawa, uh, what happened uh, with both the current council and the previous um, a facility on Normandy Street, affordable housing owned by the city that did not get taken over by the region, um, was left in neglectful state and actually uh, 66 units, uh, one bedroom units, which would be wonderful uh, for accommodating the, the need that we, we hear about now and, and have known about. Uh, why that happened, why the city was so neglectful uh, that in fact caused that unit facility to be vacant. Sorry, pretty much done there. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Um, it's a, it's a double-edged sword. I, I mean, part, part of the problem is, is youth employment. Uh, it's one of the highest in the region, 20% uh, here in Oshawa. And for opportunities for our youth to even secure uh, reasonably paying jobs, now, generally they're considered the working poor because uh, the jobs that they can uh, achieve are, are nothing more than um, menial jobs with minimum wage. It, it, it's, that creates a problem in, unto itself. When you, you don't have sufficient income, it makes it very difficult for you to climb up and out. And, you know, I'm not talking about a hand out. I'm talking about a hand up. We have to pr provide opportunities for them to, to learn better skills, uh, to create an opportunity for them to go out and earn uh, better, uh, have a better job out, uh, prospects, and, and then they can achieve uh, opportunities with better living conditions. Now, on the other side of it, I agree. Uh, Oshawa, and then by extension, the region of Durham, they've been downloaded with the, uh, the problems of housing. Uh, it was originally a pro provincial pro thing, and as provincial uh, provinces downloaded these uh, issues, it became a regional thing and then a city thing. Um, it's very difficult to find and achieve a, a reasonable solution that doesn't cost a great deal to the rest of the taxpayers 
unless we work together. Thank you. Bill Longworth. Well, certainly accommodation is expansive. And this is something I dealt with growing up. You know, even in high school, for me to get my education, I had to have a full-time job. So I worked, I went to school in grade 13, for example, half the day, and then worked from the supper shift from supper time to midnight to pay my rent. And then the next year, I took the other half of the grade 13, and I worked from midnight to 8 o'clock in the morning, again, to pay the rent. And from that experience, I learned some responsibility, and I learned some independence. 